Pre-dawn launches from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida are among the most spectacular. Three, two, one, and liftoff. And Friday morning's blastoff did not disappoint. This is the third crewed launch from SpaceX in less than 12 months. The first time the company reused their Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon capsule. Using recyclable boosters designed to fly themselves back to Earth is a cornerstone of SpaceX's plans to make missions cheaper. It took 10 years to get here, um, to achieve this bold vision we had for commercial crew. And, uh, and again, uh, it's been amazing what the team has been able to accomplish. Say hi to the crew of Dragon Resilience from us and let them know your rocket is home safe. On board, the four astronauts from three nations are on a six-month mission to the International Space Station. If all goes well, they'll be welcomed on board the space station on Saturday morning. I'm thrilled to be part of advancing uh, human spaceflight and uh, looking forward to um, yeah, going, going beyond uh, Earth orbit to the, the Moon and Mars. Um, and helping make uh, humanity a space spring civilization and uh, a multi-planet species one day. For those eager enough to wake up early, seeing crewed space flights blast off from Cape Canaveral is a thrill. To keep that tradition alive and to keep technology going and to keep um, being able to launch from American soil is amazing. We went in with not a lot of expectation and it, it was cool. It was really cool. I don't know how else to say it. It was awesome. Commercial space flight is now entering a new era. By successfully reusing rockets and modules, SpaceX is making exploration economically viable. Later this year, a mission will take four citizen astronauts into orbit, the first mission of its kind in history. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.